Captain, Steve, sorry, America, Rogers, look, if you do this, and it doesn't work, you're not coming back. Is that a puppy cow? It's actually a pet dog. All right, come on. Yay! Here, give it to the lady. What? Because you need to start helping out. Bro, I, the air already tastes different over here. You know what I mean? You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Can I have um? That really does. Oh, wait till we get in the car. I think they need to have a deal. How vague. What, guys, what's the, what is it? Well, uh, it looks like we're improvising. Excuse me. a lot of people were vandalizing it so the um the county put um surveillance around it oh those are horses yeah just don't be touching them be vegetarian. I mean, you can see it. Look at the bottom of his teeth. The bottom of his teeth is in front of him. Or sideways. <laughs> hey. Hey. No, that, that's dry. He, he needs some green. He needs something. He's, he's smart now. He wants something healthy.
fires in North America 13,000 years ago. Uh, the Great Extinctions happened about 12 to 13,000 years ago. And so they built the Georgia Guidestone. For what purpose? Why would they do that? They're trying to set forth some rules so that the people who survive this coming catastrophe can remake the world in a better way. Okay, so these are the guidelines that are written on the Georgia Guidestones, okay? So the first one says, maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. I get behind that all the way, okay? Unite humanity with a living new language. Rule passion, faith, tradition, and all things with tempered reason. Protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Let all nations rule uh, internally, resolving external disputes in a world order court. Avoid petty laws and useless officials. Balance personal rights and social duties. Prize truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. Be not a cancer on earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. Okay. So that last part is actually inscribed in the stones twice. Like that, where it says leave room for nature, that is actually written twice. Okay. And the first guideline and the last guideline, you know, it, it's going right back to the first and last thing like they are working in harmony so it says be not a cancer on earth leave room for nature and the first guideline says maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature okay and then the second guideline even to guide reproduction wisely um which i don't think there's anything wrong with that a lot of people are scared or spooked by it thinking that some genocide is going to happen but it's unfortunate a lot of people have a fear-based mindset off top, you know what I mean? Like, they just want to think the worst first and not have a balance. Like, okay, here's a good thing with this. Here's a bad thing with this. Bad thing, genocide. Good thing, um, having balance with nature and humanity. That sounds good to me because the way this world is looking right now, it's polluted and it's disgusting. As a matter of fact, when the whole pandemic happened, um... <laughs> uh there was a huge amount of pollution that was subsided or like there wasn't as much pollution in the air because there was a lot of people not on the road a lot of people were at home um so yeah if things are being in balance with nature that's not a bad thing um and then it says the okay so where it says the second guideline guide reproduction wisely then it goes on to say improving fitness and diversity and there's a lot of sick people who are living very unhealthy lives not just physically but also mentally okay and it's saying improving fitness and diversity and there's a huge thing with racism or colorism and that needs to just end like that is just so ridiculous to me to this day even when i was young i just thought that was ridiculous um and it's a distraction it's a distraction for us all living in our divine, you know, right to live a prosperous life. Um, so this is why I wanted to visit the Georgia Guidestones because I really do resonate with this message here and making this video to um, maybe spark some inspiration to somebody to dive deeper. And this is something that is real, something you can go visit. It's in Georgia. And I really enjoyed this trip and thank you for watching.